Outdoor Show. Thrilled to be here. So uh, we're down here at this uh, Taste Washington event with um, Washington's leading wineries. Yep. Great story. And Gary, um, you just got done shape, taping a, a show down here for your uh, Wine Library TV show. Yep. So I wanted to invite you down on the show today to catch up on this new media and yep. just talk about your story and really sure. how you're, you just grabbed the bull by the horn, the horns, sure. and you're just running with it. And you've got, and you've uh, created a personal brand, sure. and then your business brand, and driving up to like 50 million a year in sure. revenue. Mm -hmm. So, um, first of all, uh, how do you, how do you like Seattle so far since you've been down here? Well, I've been to Seattle a couple times. Yeah. So uh, I'm a big fan of S Town. Uh, you know, it's gorgeous. I like the seafood. Uh, I don't like the football team, but other than I that, I heard you like the Seahawks. No, no, no. I'm not down with the Sea Chickens. Somebody <laughs> just told me if you want to get to the Seattle guys, call them the Sea Chickens. Uh, but um, it's always great to be here. I'm a big fan of the wines as a whole that come out of this area. Uh -huh. And uh, and um, this was a lot of fun. Anytime you can interact with your friends which is what I call the fans, um, you're gonna win. So, tell me a little bit about how you got started and, and really got your mind wrapped around your, your internet strategy, because it seems like you're working the social networks, you're sure. working the web video, and then you're out there in the field, like at South by Southwest, sure. throwing, throwing events when it's like, you know, everything's gone kind of commercial. Yeah. So, you know, two words, Eric Kastner. Uh, okay. Eric is our lead developer. He opened this world to me as we were working side by side in 2002 after I hired him to work on winelibrary.com. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was already into e-commerce in 1997. We launched winelibrary.com. Okay. But what was really amazing was that Eric is very in tune to the movement and he started showing me things like Flickr and Google and Delicious. And so I started slowly but surely gaining the culture. And when I saw that the culture started really embracing video, you know, I had to miss the whole blogosphere because I'm not a good writer. Uh, but <laughs> luckily I have a little bit of charisma on the camera. And uh, when I saw Zay Frank and Amanda Condon yeah, yeah, doing yeah, a lot yeah, of damage, yeah. that was when I was like, okay, I can do that. You that know, was Zay's 05, awesome. 06. That was oh, yeah, 05. Yeah, yeah. 05. Late 05 is when I really was like, okay, let's do Wine Library TV. Uh, let me do a wine show. And uh, and it got going. And then, you know, Twitter came out, embraced yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. Facebook started becoming a huge thing and embraced that. The first day Facebook launches an app platform, we have an app. Ask Gary Vaynerchuk. You know, it's about embracing technology quick. You know, we're on it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So, it was, uh, it's some, like fr it, friend it's feed coming up and you guys will be on. Social thing, everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's 24 seven, 365 of paying attention to what's important technology and then spreading the message of what I do through those technologies. Uh -huh. So it's very imperative for me, as much as it is to read the Wine Spectator and pay attention to things going on in the internet from wine bloggers, it's just as important to me to read TechCrunch or GigaOM or you know Mashable. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm very in tune to wine and tech and I do it until I believe bleed out of my eyeballs. Yeah, so like how, it allows me to really pay attention. What is your schedule like? Like, I mean, it's just. I mean, it's, you know, it's it's basically 8 a.m. to 3 a.m. of 20, you know, so that's what, you know, 20, 19 hours, 20 thousands hours. Thousands of emails. Thousands of emails a day, Twittering, Facebooking, answering You're, questions, taping the shows, taping GaryVaynerchuk.com, which has become Yeah, so a what's big going thing. on with that? You know, just kind of sharing my thoughts of how to build personal brand and how to build uh -huh. businesses yeah. and how to think about, you know, legacy over currency and just things that I believe have given me success. Well, I want to let all the people out there learn and I have a blueprint and it's been successful from baseball cards to lemonade stands yeah, to the wine yeah, business yeah. and now to social media. It's something, you know, I feel like I'm gonna win every time I can hit it out of the ballpark and I think there's a there's a method to my madness. It starts with embracing your DNA. You really have to know who you are. Uh -huh. um, and I'm gonna preach that until the cows come home. Yeah, yeah. And you've really grabbed on to the fact that you can interact with people. It's not just a one-way medium. So you're bringing you know, people to a wine event I like to think I'm bringing sexy back too. No? Um, <laughs> I'm bring, I'm, I think I'm bringing what makes humans like each other. Interaction. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, and technology has allowed us to interact on a global level, and I embrace that. I love that. I'm so thrilled about it, and uh, and that's that. Well, what kind of traffic are you guys seeing with the, with the TV show? When it, I, I, my main question was like, when did it spike, and when did you really go, holy shit, it's I gonna, think, this is going to blow up? I think up. Conan was a big tipping point. Yeah. I think Kevin Rose at Dig Nation was big for me. Yeah. Got a lot of yeah. video bloggers watching. I think Time Magazine. We, you know, every three months we'll have a very big tipping point. Nightline was big. Um, you know, uh, LA Times recently did a big piece on on me, uh, you know, there's always tipping points, right? Yeah. I think South by Southwest is probably the biggest tipping point. Yeah. You know, I think it's when people really got to know me. Because you're cruising cause I was around there. there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so you go out there. And luckily, you know, my parents gave me the right DNA to be a likable guy. Yeah. And uh, it really worked for me. So um, I think ultimately, when everybody looks back, at least on my personal brand level, I think South by Southwest was that tipping point. Uh huh. 
So what's some tips you could give some entrepreneurs out there who are building their, bootstrapping their companies on a budget to really leverage social media to build a brand? Because that's what they got to do, they sure. don't have the brand. Embrace who you are. I mean, if you're a jerk and you know it, then jerk it up, right? You'll find fans in that. I mean, if you love cooking more than anything, you should do something around cooking. I um, mean, if you're a NASCAR fan, like where's the big NASCAR? video blogger, right? Yeah. He can have 100,000 or yeah. she can have 100,000 tomorrow. Um, I think you have to really embrace your global interest and then be very transparent because there's no hiding in this world anymore. Yeah. Those are the bullet points for sure. So Monday I'm gonna interview your friends down at Fiddler. Nice, and then we Rob got Sandy and Colin. Rob, yeah, guys, yeah, nice. yeah. And then, so we've got all these different. Uh, and that's that? Am I gonna be in San No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull them in. No, I'm gonna pull them in through uh, Skype, through oh, video nice, Skype, nice, and bring nice. them in. Through like campus. those guys. Yeah, okay. yeah. So um, the question is, we're gonna, I'm gonna catch up with them and then the guys from um, Two Moguls. Two Moguls, an awesome product. Yeah. So like, what's Mont loves Tube Mogul Tube Moguls? Because now in we're one shot, we're gonna get Mont up here in a second here. What, you know, he doesn't. Mont shoots the I show. Mont. Mott had it easy before and had the best job on earth. Now it's just gotten even easier. But it's exciting because you know what, Tube Mogul, in my mind, when I was flying here, I was already thinking of things that I want to talk to Mott about, about things that he can do because he saved himself. Mott, what do you think? 100 hours? Hour, yeah. Hour, Out, hours. Two hours a day, that's 10 hours a week. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. I mean, we're not gonna let Mott surf porn all day. You know, right? So anyway, yeah, big on Tube Mogul, love Viddler. I think Viddler really gets the community aspect. And I think there's a lot of noise in YouTube right now. Yeah. Um, and I think YouTube is acting a lot more like MySpace, uh -huh. which some people don't like, right? I mean, I love YouTube. I love Diddler. I love everybody. I mean, Blip TV kills it. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of great platforms, but Two Mobile lets you execute in one shot. Really syndicate now. Are you, you're, but you're focusing on on distribution through Viddler, kind of a core point. Viddler is my player. You know, they yeah. got to me early. Yeah. Um, I wanted to support them. I'm a big fan of people. I like those people. Um, they're very responsive. I can't pick up the phone and call YouTube and say do 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 do. But with Viddler, you know, Mont hits up you know Colin or Rob on IM, and it's done. I mean, that's craziness, right? I mean, for a big company like them, they're big. They're not that small. So. Um, Great customer service, but you know, I'm everywhere. I'm on Blip, you know, I'm on, you know, uh, we got something brewing with Ustream. We'll break that news yeah, for Ustream's you. Yeah, Ustream's going on. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Cool. I mean, I want to embrace people that are doing cool. Seismic is my new yeah. flavor of the yeah. month. Yeah. Where we're seismicking it up. We'll be doing more of that with them. Um, there's some cool, you know, there's like 10 to 15 people I have conference calls with this week that might have cool stuff. So I want to be everywhere I can because, you know, if I can pick up one fan and one platform, one friend, you know, then I'm a winner. And that's what you're doing is you're aggregating one here, 200 there. 60,000 here. Correct. Absolutely. And where do you see, where, where do you see this all going? I mean, you've got a contract with, are you working with um, Hollywood, um, Hollywood now too? And they're you know, you got. I mean, there's a lot of people who want me to do <laughs> national television shows, which is remarkable, right? Um, I'm going to continue to position myself in the best place that allows me to interact. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm going to do. So, I don't know what that means. Maybe it will be in a television platform because somebody brilliant at NBC or ABC or HBO or Showtime comes up with a concept that allows me to interact on a global level, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll pay you to be in a different city every night. Well, that might be a platform that might work for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe Lizzie, my wife, won't be upset about that, but she'll come with me. So, <laughs> so to catch Gary on the web, you can go to... WineLibraryTV.com. You can go to GaryVaynerchuk.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Gary V E E. Uh, you can friend me up in a various amount of places. Santa Gary. Santa Gary V, right? On, uh, you know, if you want free stuff, you, you know. Gotta show, you should, uh, you where's got, my wristband at? Here you go. All right. This is it. There you go. You this like that? Right off my about. back or my wrist. Now everybody's what we're really talking about. So, um, you know, the wristbands have become a whole crazy thing. In our yeah, this is awesome. Good swag. Um, swag who, is awesome. Who, who on, the, on Twitter they had the uh, Zay had the, the the color wars. Yeah, color wars. You know, Zay did color wars. I just decided to jump on it and PR it too. And you know, Zay's way bigger than me, but I think I helped him a little bit to get a lot of people involved, yeah, and it yeah. became this big thing. And you know, we did a Good People Day the other day through Twitter, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that became yeah. a huge thing. Nothing better than seeing people giving shout-outs to wonderful people. It's great to see people like Chris Brogan, it's positive, yeah, Jim Crucal, and those yeah. kind. Of, I mean, it's Positive. People deserve shout outs. It's not leads bleeds, it's positive. It's not this guy sucks, it's this yeah. guy's awesome. Yeah. Or this girl's, you know, a bitch. No, it's this this lady has got class. I mean, we need more of that in our society and anything I can do to push for that is gonna be a part of my process. Cool. Gary, thanks for being on the show. Thank Venture you so also. much. Thank you so much. Super pumped to be on here. Cool, awesome. Cool.